I'm your host, Sheldon Alexander. We got something a little bit different today. We got a bonus pod where we're breaking down the Stanley Cup playoffs. And we brought out the big guns to help us out as we deep dive through each and every playoff series to give you the goodness to try to help you make some money. All right. All right. With that said, Matt, we'll stick with you in the Stars and Flames series, which gets underway on Tuesday. How much are you looking forward to this series in terms of betting on it? Which side are you on? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, so now I'm doing the Michael thing where I'm not looking forward to this series Ooh. because I'm probably going to be on the Stars a fair amount, right? This is my Caps Panthers, if you will, where I'm just wildly uncomfortable about it because from a like hockey eye test standpoint, there's not really that much to not like about the Flames, right? Like they have the the Matthew Kachucks of the world, right? Who last we saw in the playoffs was having to be removed from a series against the Stars that might have turned things in the favor of the Stars. And so they get this rematch. And so there's reason to like the, the Flames problem is we're pricing things right we are valuing things we are putting an evaluation on a team from a number standpoint and we're looking at a series price of plus 290 and a game to game certainly in calgary of plus 185 to plus 190 and so i just look at this and i go this another weird thing about this year there are two teams playing quote unquote playoff hockey coming into the playoffs because nobody in the east was worried about their playoff spot right you can talk about seeding and all of that sort of thing but honestly you and i have talked about this Sheldon not, uh, numerous times when people are talking about seating and motivations and that sort of thing I don't buy into that it's either get in or don't get in when you're uh, when you're a professional uh, athlete the stars are one of the two teams that have been playing that style of hockey and I think there's there's a chance to jump on a team uh, as an underdog to maybe get that surprising road win in game one I think it's the stars and you're getting a plus 190 plus 185 price tag to do so so you know the flames were pretty good but their best stretch was mid-season it wasn't necessarily like lighten it up at the end but again they didn't need to because they had the division locked up because of that good stretch in the middle of the season but that's what's created all all kinds of buzz they win the division but their play has slipped in my numbers from 14 percent above average down to quote unquote just nine percent above average which again makes them favorites against the stars here but just by not this much and so i don't really want the stars to win this series from a betting standpoint but what it's going to do is it's going to make every other stars derivative a little bit more valuable so i'm going to take the stars plus one and a half in the series at it's available at plus 125 right so that means just force a game seven or win the series in some way shape or form so i'm going to play a little underdog in the first game and going to play them in the underdog series handicap point spread or however you want a game spread however you want to call it i'm going to play it that way i still think the flames advance and maybe this is me sort of cowarding at this point because you know a young matt russell of maybe last year would have just said stars win this series i'm going to play it a little more conservatively here with the plus one and a half series game line yeah, I, I think I think the the Flames actually are built to just handle the series. Uh, be, I think the goaltending is a huge disparity. Uh, I think the five yeah. on five play, you, the, the Stars are a team that just that they got into the playoffs with a negative goal differential. This they they're really good at getting games to overtime. That won't really help in the in the playoffs uh, when you when it's five on five. Uh, so you know I I it's I believed in this Flames team all, all season. Um, I'll pat myself on the back because I have them uh, to win the Stanley Cup at forty five to one from pre preseason, and, and I have a Daryl Sutter to win uh, the Jack Adams. So I've I'm been a believer. I'm just gonna keep believing that this Flames team is just too deep to to get found out here. I think it could be a little tricky. The Stars are a very tricky team, um, but I. Th- think just the depth is going to win out here and, and we could see a pretty short one so I'll, I'll be playing flames minus two and a half at plus money at, at a big number i think is, is worth a shot but other than that uh not too much betting interest here and in what i think should be and hope will be uh pretty straightforward for calgary 